Psalm 4, 3. But know that the Lord hath set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. Psalm 68, 21. But God shall wound the head of his enemies, and the hairy scalp of such an one as goeth on still in his trespasses. Psalm 121, 7 and 8. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Isaiah thirty fifteen, For thus saith the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, In returning and rest shall ye be saved, in quietness and in confidence shall be your strength. And you would not. Isaiah thirty eighteen, And therefore will the Lord wait, that he may be gracious unto you. And therefore will he be exalted, that he may have mercy upon you. For the Lord is a God of judgment. Blessed are all they that wait for him. Colossians three twenty three through 25 And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord, and not unto men, knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. 1 Peter 3.15 If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. On their part he is evil spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. Romans 8.1 There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Romans 8, 2 For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. Romans 8, 4 That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Romans 8, 5, and 6. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Spirit the things of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Romans 8, 7, and 8. The carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. Romans 8, 9. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit, if so be that the Spirit of God dwell in you. Now if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. Romans 8, 10. If Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. Romans 8, 11. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in us. Romans 8, 13 and 14. If ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Romans eight fifteen, For ye have not received the spirit of bondage, again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Romans 8, 16 and 17. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God 
and joint heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. Romans 8.18 For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Romans 8, 24 and 25. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. Romans eight twenty one, Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Romans eight twenty six. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Romans 8, 27. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for us according to the will of God. Romans 8, 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. Romans 8, 29. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Romans 8, 30 and 31. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Romans 8, 32 and 33. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. Romans eight thirty four and 35. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died. Yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? Romans eight thirty six and 37. As it is written, For thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Romans eight thirty-eight 38 and 39. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord.